it's Jordan Teen One, and today I'll be showing you how to make my new rhombus braid bracelet. And so here are two examples. You can see that with the pattern, it makes these diamond or rhombus shapes, so that's why I named it the rhombus braid. And it is made on the rainbow loom. And today I'm going to be making the blue, black, and white one. So you want to have your rainbow loom set up so that the pins are in line with one another. And as far as your band count goes, you'll probably need somewhere around 215. And today I'm using the rainbow loom black, neon blue, and white. So I'm going to place my first band on the fourth pin up on the right hand side. And I'll put black for the outside. And this is going to go diagonally down and to the left. And there's no need to twist. And then I'll take my next color, which is blue, and that's going to go straight over to the left on that same pin on the right. And now I'm moving to the pin above, and I'm going to do white for my center to start. And then I'll go to the pin above that. And I'm going to put another black that's going to go diagonally up and to the left. And then my blue is going on the same pin and straight over to the left. So that's what your setup should look like. And now what I need to do is take a band that is going to be the cap band. It's going to be at the very bottom. It's going across all three rows here. So I'm going to use black for that. And I do want this to be doubled, so I'm just going to place it on my hook, twist, and put it back on. And it is going to be a long, tight stretch to get it across all three of these. So I'm just going to start here on the top. And actually what I'm going to do is just stretch it over to the next two, just because I don't want people's bands to break while you're doing this part. And then what you're going to do is take the band that's on the top, so mine is blue here, and I'm going to pull it out and move it over back on itself to the left. And then I'm going to go down and grab the bottom band, pull that out and move that straight above. And then I'm going to go down the other side here you need to push back. I'm grabbing my white and that's just going to go over to the left back on itself. And so now I'm going to release it from the top pin here and I'm going to take my cap band and pull it down. So this way it was just putting a little bit less pressure on than trying to stretch it across all three even though it still is going to be a tight stretch. And now I want to I'm going to have to push back on this cap band. I'm going to grab the top one here. Oops, I lost it there. That's blue. That's going to move over to the left. And then finally, I'm going to pull back and grab this last one. And that's going to come straight down. And so now I'm going to release this. So it's just hanging in the middle there. And now I want the three in the center to just move back over to the right. So that's just going to make a nice circle here at the bottom that's going to hold all of these bands together. And now we're ready to start the actual pattern that we're going to be following. So I'm always going to be placing the bands on the same color that's on the right side or what's going to be the front side of the bracelet. So right now the front and back side are matching colors but it's not going to be the case through most of the bracelet. So I'm going to start with single bands just on the bottom here. Then blue, that's a single. Now in the center you're always going to be putting two bands at once. So I have the two white and then I have blue and then black at the top. So what I'm going to do is take the bottom band from all of the pins, 
just pulling that over the top. So it's just one single band from each of the pins. And then you always want to be pushing everything down so you have room to add your next bands. And then once we've added that, we're going to start with our braiding or crossing of the band pattern. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the band from the second pin up here on the right and I'm going to move it over to the left just to move it out of the way as a holding spot. And then I'm going to go to the fourth pin up from the bottom of the bracelet here. It's going to be that same matching color and that's going to move over to the left. So by doing that, it's going to free up some pins on the right that allow me to move the bands around. So from the bottom here, the black is going to move up one. And from the top, your outer color here is going to move down one. Then once you've done that, you're going to take the middle band color. So I'm taking the top one and I'm going to stretch it. It's going to be a long stretch going down to the bottom and then the other center one is going all the way up to the top and then finally now the ones that we had moved over to the left they're going to now move into the center so just the top one here is moving into the middle and then on the other side the same the top one is coming down so that's the pattern we're going to follow for the whole bracelet. It might take you a couple of layers to get the pattern in your brain and get the hang of it. And then once we've crossed the bands, it's time to add another layer. So again, we're just following the right side here. You can see how now the um, left and right side are different colors. So I have white at the bottom. And again, it's just singles for the outside bands. And then in the center here, I'm going to be doing double every time. So I have the two blue. And then I have black for the next one. And then my white at the top. So once you've added that layer, you need to do your looping. So you're going to have one single band from the outside pins. And then in the very center here, since we always put two bands on, you're going to have to take two bands off. So it's the bottom two. And then one from the rest of this row. And then on the other side, same thing. You have the single bands from the outer rows and then two from the center. And then singles for the rest going to push that down and now we're ready to do our crossing of the bands so I'm going to the second one up here moving that over to the left just to get it out of the way and then I'm going to the fourth one up it's going to be that same color and get that one out of the way and now I'm going to start crossing the bands so I'm starting on the outside and that's just moving over one. So the bottom is moving up one and then the top is moving down one. And now I need the center bands. So I'm just taking the very top one that's coming all the way down to the bottom. And then the other one is going all the way up to the top. And then finally the bands that we got out of the way, starting here at the bottom, I'm gonna move that one diagonally up and to the right into the center and then the other one is come diagonally down and to the right and now we need to add our next layer Oops, so I have blue at the bottom and then the white in the middle I have two bands at once And I have my white and then finally blue. 
So let me just show you this one more time. Now that we have our next layer on, I'm going to remove the bottom, just one band from the outside and two from the center. Same thing on the left, getting the two from the middle. And we're going to push all of this down. And now to cross the bands, you're taking the second one and getting it over so it's white this time for me. And then the fourth one up is getting out of the way. And I'm always working from the outside first. So the bottom was going to move up. Top comes down. And now I need to get these center bands out of here. So I'm taking just the top one that's coming all the way down to the bottom. It's a little bit of a longer stretch. You're skipping that next pin. And this one goes all the way to the top. And then the bands that are on the left move into the middle. And then you're putting that next layer on. You need two for the middle. So I'm just going to continue in this same pattern. I'll get the bottom bands to come off and then I can do my crossing of the bands, get the next layer on, and so on and so forth. So if you feel like you don't quite have the hang of it yet, you can always go back in the tutorial. So you just want to pause here, and then when I get the bracelet to the length I'd like, I will show you how to remove it from the loom. I now have my bracelet to the length that I like and I'm going to take it off of the loom. So the first thing I'm going to do is take all the bands that are on the right and move them over to the left. So it's just going to go right on the top. And then in the center you're going to have two. And since I do have the four bands in the middle, I'm just going to take the bottom two and pull them over the top, just so I don't have so many to work with. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a band that I want to get all of these other bands to go on to. So I'm going to use blue. You can use whatever color you like. I'll start here at the bottom, and I'm just going to put it from the first pin to the second. And then I'll just take the bottom two bands and get them to go over onto that middle band. Now I'm going to pick it up and stretch it up to the third pin up here. And I'm going to take these two bands and I'm going to pull them off of that pin and slide them onto that band. And now I'm going to just take this bottom one and move it up just so it's not such a long stretch. Taking this band and moving it up again to the fourth pin up. Gonna slide these two bands on. Again, I'm just gonna move this bottom one up just so it's not such a long stretch. Use my finger here. And then finally, I'm taking the same band and stretching it all the way to the top and then I can slide these other two on. So now all the bands are looped onto this one single band. So I want to take this band off. Just be very careful you don't lose it. So I'm taking the bottom. You can hold that with your thumb just for extra security and then pick up the other side 
And now let me just take this row of pins off and I can take it all the way off here. So now what you can do is take a clip and put it on here. But I'm not going to do that just yet because if you do that and one of these bands happens to slide off the clip, your whole bracelet's going to come apart. So I'm going to take another band, another blue, and slide it through and then put it back on my hook. Slide one end through the other. And I'm going to pull that nice and tight and make a slip knot. That's just going to be an extra security so it doesn't come apart. And then I'm just going to take this loop and I'll just wrap it, pull it through here just so it's not so long and sticking out. Just wrap it around a couple of times. Like that. And then I can take my clip. I have an S clip here. You can use whatever clip you have available. And you can just hook it through the end. And then you can just attach it on the other side. There should be a nice circle here that you would attach it to. So I think it turns out really neat. And let me just show you the other one again here that I did at the beginning. So definitely a different look with different colors. I hope that everyone enjoyed making their rhombus braid bracelets. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook. Post pictures of your creations to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on my latest tutorials. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!